Okay, so continuing with HP3 tutorial, I am going to quickly go through some of the game's files. Um, just to get some helpful information out there to make speedrunning the game just a little bit easier. So if you go into documents and then... Or, you, you, it's, the game is going to save all of your save files and your one other file, um, one other configuration file into probably your document somewhere. Just go under here and you'll have a save folder, hppoa.ini and user.ini. And these are the, th this is what is usually in the folder. These two I put in myself. And um, I'm going to explain how these work and something you can do to, making, to make practice easier. So under your save folder, Whenever you play the game, it's going to add in these little save files, and they're actually organized in a really easy way, or a really simple way. Um, so if you look at the load game portion inside of the game, um, you have six different files, and say top left is, and the this, the save files are organized like that. So the top left one would be uh, game 0, then game 1, then game 2, 3, 4, and 5. So any file that starts with, say, if the first number of the three-digit code for the save file determines which slot it is, so like save 200 uh, references the top right save, save 500 represents the bottom right save. Um, then the last two digits determine what the save is used for. So save zero kind of just saves like your general location, your current game state, and then anything after that is kind of specific and I want to load the game to show what those do. Um, just waiting for it to boot up. Okay, so if we're looking at the game itself, as I was saying, like this is save zero, this is one, this is two, three, four, and five. Or like 200, 300, 400, and all that. Um, so I want to look in this, show you in the save folder, if you notice I have save 200, save 203, and 204. Well, what is this reference? Save 200 is saying where in the game I am and what my current state is. Save 203 and 204, just having those numbers appear in your folder, sets the third and fourth bookmark to appear. So if you look in the first folder, which is a completed game, I have saved one, two, three, four, all the way down. If I go into my bookmarks for the first game, I have all of the bookmarks unlocked. But if I go into, say, folder, or game four, I only have the Glacius Spell Challenge, because I have 411 and nothing else. So that's how the save files work. Um, something to note, if I were to say take save 200 and rename, you can simply just rename these files so I can make it save 205. And what would happen is the game would give me a spot for 205, but if I were to select it, it would um, load 25 it would load what was previously stored into that save. So if I load this, instead of loading me into Care Magical Creatures, it loads me into the end of the game, which is what 25 usually refers to. So I'm going to change that back, because I actually want to keep that file. Okay. Um, I have to load something else. So... By using this, we can actually really easily set up practice saves. So I have four different practice saves. Uh, these three are set up to tricks I tend to have trouble with, and this is set to Carpe, which is just challenging. Um, aside from that, the other thing I want to touch on is the user.ini. And for runs, we're technically not really supposed to use this. 
you're not supposed to change any of this stuff because you can set some things like debug mode through this. Um, but what I specifically use this for is for setting practice for certain tricks. So you can go to, like, take any... This is how the game maps all of your buttons. So if I were to go into my options and go to input, if I were to change turn right to say F and Q, then under F there would be turn right and under Q there would be turn right. Like that turn right. Instead I have Q set to turn left, so under Q is turn left. And there's a lot of unused commands and only used keys that we can use. So to F3 and F4, I set save game 900 and load game 900. And if you go into my save folder, you'll actually see I have a save 900 right here at the bottom. So if I run, if I, while I'm playing the game, if I hit F3, I can save a state and then press F4 to load back to that state. So I can like practice different tricks. So my current F4 is set to the window jump in a uh, Hermione's final, which I'll get to later, but I can just move around, hit F3, it'll save the game, and then F4 loads back to it. Um, utilizing this during a run invalidates the run, so don't do it, but it works wonders for practice. It means you can perform some tricks a lot, uh, many times in sequence and just figure out how to get better at them. That's all I want to go over for the practice files, so that's it.